Hello everybody. Today we're going to work on the cowl and specifically the cowl louvers. So I'm almost ready with the cowl. Uh, all the structure is uh, done so I've uh, created an, uh, an air duct uh, for the um, oil cooler. And that all fits now. I had to do it twice because I screwed up in the first time when it didn't fit. Um, and I figured out that the amount of air flowing in, mostly through uh, both the air ducts for the engine and for the oil cooler, uh, has a, a bigger area than the, the output. So there's probably going to be a pressure built up in the cowl or under the cowl. And one of the solutions for that is, um, well, making more exits. And since I already uh, ordered cowl louvers, uh, which is an option, uh, but I thought, well, they're not that expensive, let's put them in the kit and then uh, if I need them, I can just get them. So I figured I need them. And um, yeah, I need to install them uh, to uh, increase the amount of um, outflowing air. So I don't, don't get any, uh, let's say, pressure built. And also it would probably uh, hamper the, um, the cooling of the cylinders. So maybe it's maybe it's overkill, maybe it's not necessary, but eh, it can't hurt. So I had to take uh, into account where to put the um, the cow louvers on the first place. Well, there there is a uh, designated point there, but I also had some changes, uh, specifically with the air filter. Uh, so I rearranged that, and now uh, I can put them on the let's say the original place. Although this is not a vents cowl. Uh, they are, let's say, at the, at the same spot. The first part is uh, making the holes into the cowl. So uh, you take cowl louvers as a, uh, as a template and uh, you, you drill the, the holes and then you have to file them out. So you get really nice holes, sl slitting holes um, to get the air out. Uh, you do the rough part with the, the drill and as you can see I use a, a piece of sandpaper on, the, on a stick to make it uh, really nice. Next part is um, drilling the holes for riveting. So uh, you rivet the cowl louvers on the, on the inside and uh, since they need to be flush you also have to uh, countersink them. So we do it here. Finishing it off. I did some tests also because I was working on it anyway with uh, a damper system for the uh, the exhaust. But after the um, the engine start, which I did um, in the do actually do in the next video, I don't need any dampers because uh, the sound is really great without them. I was checking the um, the homemade air duct for the um, for the oil cooler as you can see and I'm, I'm filing it off so that it has a kind of um, half an inch distance from the oil cooler and the, the last let's say the last half inch I use uh, silicone uh, silicone strip to make it tight airtight but in such a way that if you know the engine will swing a little bit, it won't uh, touch the um, the carbon because it could either uh, damage the carbon or it could dam damage uh, probably even worse uh, the oil cooler. So that's why I'm uh, very specific about it. Also, I try to really sandpaper off the inside so that I get a real nice. Uh, finish later. Okay, clicking the um, the cow louvers, getting them ready for for riveting. Uh, you have to bend, um, you have to bend the cow louvers 
open so the wind can go out. So I made a special tool to open that. Okay, now it's uh, riveting time. So you can do this with the, um, the squeezer because um, the yoke is not big enough. So you won't get it. So you need to do it with the um, bucking bar and the rivet gun. You have to be careful because it's uh, carbon and uh, although it's very strong, you can still uh, break it with uh, a rivet gun. So um, don't rivet beside your uh, bucking bar or it will definitely uh, break your cowl. With uh, the combination of both the uh, the output via the um, the exhaust and with the cowl louvers, I think there should be enough um, air exits in my cowl so that I don't get any uh, pressure built or impeded cooling. It remains to be seen if that's actually the case, but only uh, yeah, ex measuring during flight can. Uh, can show me that, so there's no way I can do that uh, up front. I'm now working on the um, the silicone attachment to the um, the air duct and the um, for the oil cooler. I'm making it such a way that I can remove uh, the um, the silicone strips. Uh, so they are attached with uh, bolts and screws. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky.